All right, so what you see on the screen right now is a Webflow site that I'm working on uh, for Polish Dental Temps. And what I'm about to show you right now is how I create a modal. Uh, if you check my most recent Twitter uh, post, I asked a question to all UI designers, uh, do you use a modal uh, for contact form? And most are saying no. And I agree. Most of the time when I use a modal, it's for a subscription or things of that nature. Uh, modals can be very disruptive and for a user that just has something that pops up on the screen, uh, that's not a, a great user experience. So I try to keep modals for subscriptions. Uh, as you can see, something like this, sign up today, which will be a subscription, is where I would use a modal. Uh, but something like contact us would take, take you to a contact uh, page. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do right now is quickly show you how to create a modal in Webflow. So I've already begun the process. Uh, I make, made a modal section here. And that modal section is just a block, uh, position fixed, and then I have it full coverage. Then I make the Z index uh, all the way to the top. Then within this, I add in a form. Actually, I'm gonna take a step back and add a wrapper to that form. So use the container, add that to the section, put the form block inside the container, and name it. No. And I want to have a wrapper. Is that the reason why I'm adding a wrapper is uh, there's a high possibility that I'll probably make uh, that wrapper uh, much smaller than what the container is. I love having using containers because it comes with automatic uh, kind of um, uh, what kind of uh, padding on the left and right side. Uh, gutters is what I was looking for. Um, but with this wrapper, I'm probably going to make the width way smaller. So that's what I'm going to add in now. And then I'm going to go into my div block, add div block, name it modal wrapper. And as you can see, my naming convention is trying to utilize something that I can use across the website. So it's not like saying contact us wrapper or contact us container and things of that nature. Like this modal uh, container and modal wrapper, I can use it for another instance across the board. It might be, I might have a different subscription. I might have a, a different modal pop up that I want to use the same styling for. So I try to make my uh, naming convention um, more general so that it can be used across the website. So let's change this more wrapper to max width of maybe like 500 pixels. And, and padding of like, uh, let's say, oops. Uh, let's do random, two grams. And the text going to be white and we'll go submit mm -hmm. I want this to be a hundred percent So now I'm trying to think of, right now I'm thinking of the business requirements. So this sign up is going to be, uh, can be, this one I'm gonna create, I'm creating for this particular model. It's going to be for uh, businesses that want to sign up to log into 
hire dental professionals. So the information that we will need will be business name, uh, email address, phone number, and probably uh, professional requirements. This is probably gonna change. This is just me trying to guess what uh, the business will require. Um, probably gonna change this color. Uh, later I get everything in here. So. Requirements for your dental. Enter the requirements for your dental. All right, so this is just the general setup. Again, that submit will definitely change in regards to the color, um, but this is just a general setup of how a modal will set up. So again, as you saw, it's a modal section, takes up the entirety of the page. So then when a user clicks on the sign up button, it takes up the page. Um, so now I'm gonna get into interaction. So to not make this video long, jumping into the uh, interactions. And what I want to do is I think I want, I've done many different types of models. I think I want this one to be, uh, I want the black to fade in and then I want the form to fade down. So it's going to be kind of a, a play on the, uh, on the different elements. So what I'm going to do is here how I'm gonna make this happen all right so initially this model is display none and also the opacity is zero all right so on the sign up for the dental professional, we're going to see here. And so, um, higher. And the reason why uh, is because I'm going to need to make a an additional on click, first click um, becomes block, and then the opacity goes from zero to one hundred percent. 
and we'll make the eaves from there. So let's preview. There we go. So that's what it'll look like. And with that said, I'm glad I just did that because my light just died on me. Puppy sleeping. Charge this light here. Technical difficulties, charging the light. But the show must go on, and I don't have any more. So hopefully it's not too dark, but we'll continue. All right, so we have to fade in, and now I want to add some additional fields. Okay, so, so now we need to close the mold. So we got the mold open, but now we need to add fields or a place on the form to close the mold. Go to here. All right, so I think the way I want this to close is, I think I want an X right at the top here. So the video turned off also everything's turning off everything's turning off all right motor close so main camera right here motor close uh just give it a, an x and here and add some padding around it make this two rims Maybe one rim. Make all of them rims. There we go. Oh, too large. Oh, not zero, one. There we go. And uh, awesome. And we're going to place it. There it is. So, and to close it, we would click on the modal close. And we'll call it modal close, trigger, click. Mobile painter, and I only wanted to limit to the sibling. The reason being is actually, so it's mobile section. I don't want the mobile section to close, so I wanted to limit the sibling. So, mobile section. 
quick. Going to fade to zero, make that 500. And then the next step is display none. So let's do that. See, here it is. All right, so now let's set up our section back to the way it was. Display none. Zero. That sets it up. Go to our sign up, click, fades in, everything here, fades out. Let's see here, I probably want to, I'm a more close, put a pointer. All right, let's check this out. So we'll go to hire, sign up, there's a fade in. There's a fade out, there it is. Easy enough. So this is probably going to be updated, uh, different styling, make it uh, cleaner. Uh, but that's just how you create a modal uh, with Webflow. If you have any questions, feel free to leaving uh, the questions and comments below. Uh, I will provide the link to this website so you can tick around and see what it looks like, uh, inspect the code and things of that nature. And I might even allow you to see the Webflow preview link as well. This is actually a customer, so I probably won't. I just said that, but I probably won't give you that link. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave the comment section. And yeah, thanks for watching and see y'all later. Adios.